so sad. Two people that call themselves mechanics. One actually is a mechanic, Fat Paul. He's also a welder. And redneck rat rod Pat. I call Fat Pat. It's, that's his channel on YouTube, Redneck Rat Rod Pat. Anyways, this is their tractor that they cut Paul's farm with. Tisk tisk. What are you doing, kitty? How come I got more random cabbage? So, have a 12 horse Briggs Industrial Commercial. They brought it over a little while ago for me to fix up and I told them the motor was going to blow, the rod was knocking and it had no oil in it. How could two mechanically inclined persons who fix cars most of their life have a tractor for one year and not check the oil? I check mine every time I use it. So the motor, motor is unbolted now and I'm going to pull it out and we'll open it up and see what's wrong. It sounds like it threw a rod because it turns all the way one way, goes clunk, all the way the other way. But it didn't crack the sides of the block so it may be rebuildable. Oh, now what's happening? Oh no, it finally freed itself, so now it spins without compression. Huh. That still means a broken rod. So let's rip this bitch apart. Last one. <laughs> Just as I thought. Well, when you see this happen for lack of oil, it always scores the crankshaft or damages it as much as it does the rod. So unless you can get a crankshaft reground and a smaller size, undersize rod, you have to replace both crankshaft and rod. Sometimes it even scores your cylinder from lack of oil, then she'll burn more oil. So you've got to check that too. Tisk tisk. Well, we have another piece. Well, that's catastrophic failure. I'm so surprised it didn't bust up the block. <laughs> mm, lube. Sometimes when this happens, it breaks or bends the camshaft, so we better inspect that. Ooh, lucky. Looks fine to me. So, I went to the Briggs & Stratton parts dealer. Priced out the crankshaft, connecting rod, and a couple gaskets. Big deal. Oh yeah. It was a big deal. $398. <laughs> crankshaft, gasset, gasket. The compressor is actually the connecting rod. Wow. $321 for just a crankshaft. So, how much did a new motor cost? $1,073. Ridiculous for an old flathead motor? Anyways, the new replacement motor was $535. That's what the customer wanted. And that's what he got. And I got some random cattage. What's new? Yeah. Hi, baby. Back to business. The newer overstead, overhead valve style. Only difference is the exhaust is on the other side, 13.5 horse. So he says it's going to fit just fine, just the exhaust is on the other side. And more random cattage. So that's what I'm ready to find out. Crankshaft is the same size, I already checked that. Just took the air tool and ran through the bolts through the engine block to pre-thread them since these are self-tapping bolts so I wouldn't have to work them in manually underneath with a ratchet. So we're ready for installation. Right kitties? So the bolt holes line up. Wires look like they all have the same connectors on them. Starter wire lines up. Looks like uh, either I cut a hole in the hood or I put the exhaust deflector on it that shoots the exhaust down. Wow, it's even color keyed. They match. Sweet. 
That thing ought to fix the exhaust. You just can't get enough, can you? I'm gonna throttle hookups on the same size, the uh, same side. That'll do. And these overhead valve engines burn a lot less gas. Let's just hope the valve doesn't break like it did in that other engine I fixed a couple weeks ago. That would be bad news. Throttle cable, starter wire, couple connectors, check the oil, and there's none, so we can't forget that. I'll leave that out so I don't forget it. Now just to put the crankshaft bolt on. Done. Now just the belt. Some good stuff. Now just the fuel line. Mmm, new filter too. Maybe I'll give her a primer squeeze so she doesn't have to crank too long to start. All gassed up. In the squeezy bottle she flows. Just saves me some cranking time. I always prime for a good time. All hooked up. Now if it matters to anyone, installing that whole motor, ready to go, oiled and gassed, was 12 minutes. Let's see if she fires up. Well, I'm going to use my JD tripod. Set that right on the hood. And see what an engine runs like for the very first time it ever ran. Brand new out of the box. If the battery is charged still, I hope. video editing. I'm missing the sunshine spending so much time in the computer nowadays. YouTube does have its downfalls when you're busy. <sighs> Perfect. Now just that exhaust deflector. I hope the owner doesn't watch this video. 12 minutes to install the motor? That doesn't buy me a lot of beer. I hope he thinks it took me a lot longer. Done. Now let's go call the owner to pick it up. Get out of the way, kitty. Yesterday. Yes, your lawnmower's done. Already? You'll watch it on YouTube soon. It was a yeah, grueling job. It. No, it was a grueling job. It's worth lots of beers. You'll you'll see the video. Fired right up anyways. Did? Yep. How's the new motor run? Sweet. Absolutely sweet. Quieter, smoother. Better on fuel. Mm -hmm. You'll love it. Starts as fast as you can turn the key. Cool. And mm. that more power, more torque. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Cool. Okay. 
come and pick it up whenever you want. I'll let Paul know we'll probably pick it up uh, tomorrow afternoon. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. I'll probably be at the farm. I think it's sunny tomorrow. Okay. So. We'll, we'll talk to you. Yep, later. see you whenever then. Okay. Bye.